<laughs> well, hello everyone, Dan Herbert, Dan Herbert Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope during your subscription today. I am here in the mother load country of California, metal detecting for nuggets. I have a couple of new friends here. We've got Alan and Chase. They've brought me to their special spot and we're gonna see if we can find some nuggets in this little creek today. Plus, we're going up the hill to some hard rock exposures to see what kind of hard rock gold we can find as well. So wish us luck and I hope you enjoy. And of course we got my son Evan, he's hanging out with us too. And my buddy Dave will be here shortly. Well, it looks like they're on something over there. Saying it's iron. There's one on gold, or back and forth gold. That is worth checking out. Let's see what we can find in here. I think the best idea is just take some uh, little chunks and move them around and see if possibly the signal moves. A little bit falling, a little bit moved up top. It seems to be right in this little clay ball. Of course, my pinpointer's back at the truck. We'll grab it if we need to. Uh, I moved it up top. It's now in there. Oh, there it is. We got some tin foil or something. Tin foil, you know what's coming. Foiled again. There is something more here. It's probably just more tin foil, but better check to make sure. Whatever it is, it's in my hand, and I don't see any more tin foil. But there's something in those little balls of clay that is uh, showing a non-ferrous signal. So we're gonna throw it in the pan, swish it around a bit, and see if it's something more than just scraps of tin foil. There it is. There, more scraps of tin foil. Washed off. Just tin foil. Something promising underneath this rock. I think that's going to be a shovel and dig situation. Okay, let's see what I can find for material right there. Oh yeah, it digs right into the clay. Ah. That's going to be miserable panning that much clay. Nope, no signal. No big signal, my fam. Hmm. We may be in sunny California, but this water is still cold. There was fresh snow on the ground this morning. Breaking up all this clay is gonna take me forever. Still a lot of clay balls, well that's rock, but I just can't break them up any farther. The metal detector is not showing anything in my pan though. I may have lost this signal. Yep, no gold. Very small signal, but it's something down there. Nope, nothing. So my buddy Dave just showed up, means uh, we're gonna abandon the little creek here. We didn't find much of anything in the little creek, a couple little specks of gold, uh, but we're gonna abandon the creek and go uphill where the real gold is. So my buddy Dave from Gold Bay found out it was my birthday today, so he gave me a birthday nugget, although he says we're gonna find me a birthday nugget as well, and, of course, a Gold Bay t-shirt and a birthday cake. And hopefully you saw my video on those crystal gold nuggets a little while back. This is my buddy Dave. Those nuggets were his. Dave from Gold Bay. I actually happen to, like when I drive around, I always have gold with me so I can show you some gold today too, actually. <laughs> no, we had like, to find some gold today. I know, we're gonna find, find some, some gold, gold today. At least I have something that we know what it sounds like. We'll put some <laughs> on the ground and make sure we know what it sounds like. <laughs> we will be finding some gold. If you don't know Dave, check out Gold Bay. He's got a YouTube channel. He's got a store where he sells pay dirt and uh, nuggets and specimens. Check out Dave Goldby. Now this is what we're really here for. We've come up the hill to uh, some of the hard rock exposures up on the hill where they find gold in quartz. Do you ever find gold that's not still attached to quartz or is it usually still with the quartz? No, I've found plenty of it without quartz. So there we go. Nuggets on their own, some with the quartz. Who knows what we're gonna find. We got all sorts of metal detectors to try out and we're gonna see what we can find. 
So I think the guys laughed at me for a little bit by bringing the 1000 up here and they said, no, Dan, you can't use that. Here's a 5000, use the Mind Lab 5000. So I'm swinging a bigger machine today than I've ever used before. And I've got my first signal. This little clump seems to be giving me something. So we're gonna look through it and see if we can uh, identify what is screaming in there. So I've limited it to that little chunk. Waving it over the coil makes the coil scream. Definitely this one. There seems to be a little rock here. Nope, not on the rock. In that little chunk of clay, there is something setting off the detector. And it's that, a little chunk of iron, a little chunk of rust. Definitely right there, isn't it? Uh, however, I'm seeing orange. You're seeing orange? Seeing rust. Oh, you're seeing some actual the very top yeah. metal right in here. I think that might be it. Uh, uh, oh, that's mucky stuff. Now I've done it. I've gone and lost it. Is it on your fingers? It might be my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever it is, it's in this pile here now. Although we're here in hooting and hollering from up the hill, so one of the guys got something big up there. Let's see if I can find this one before they come down and show off their uh, big find. Well, it's definitely in this clump. Getting like massive, massive noises when I wa wave this clump. Not in that, not in that. Just on this, yeah, still in that. That chunk of clay has a piece of something in it. We're hoping gold. I don't know how you tell at this point. Unfortunately, the guys left me. <laughs> it's in that. Let's make sure it's not in this. So there it is right there, another chunk of iron. <laughs> I thought I had it. I thought I had it. <laughs> so it's definitely like a, an iron staple or something like that. Although they all went up uh, looking for the nugget up top. Maybe I should just start hooting and hollering and doing the gold dance or something. See if they all come running. No, don't cry wolf. So a foot and a half away from where I got that staple, there's another big signal right there. So let's go and see if it's the other half of the staple. So I think Chase found something more than a staple. A little mother load of gold for you. Nice. He salted it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That is definitely worth the close up. There we are. What's that? Maybe a gram and a half, two grams? Two grams there? Of gold from the mother load. Now it's time for me to pull one. Hopefully. Well, no. I'd be happy if anyone pulled another one. This is lovely stuff. That's the stuff you want to be taking in. You want to play you, with. You want to know why my pants are looking the way they are? <laughs> I don't even bother washing them when I know I'm going out the next day. Nothing. <clears throat> Better check them in the right spot going down. It is screaming, yeah. I need the pinpointer. It's back in the truck. He's right here. We got two. He's got a mm -hmm. carrot and I've got, uh, I don't know what the hell That's this a carrot is. as well. Ooh, carrot. Timber. <laughs> Garrett, carrot. Oh, uh, yeah, point that away. Yeah, <laughs> that's even a bit close. There's one under the tarp. There the There's one under the tarp up there. Okay. I see rust. You see rust? Don't see rust. Okay, don't see rust. Uh oh. There you go. The, 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 the thing detector. is, that people don't understand, mud is the absolute worst yeah. ground type to actually be detecting and to <coughs> recover a target is ridiculous. <laughs> this is gross. It's in the hand. It's in my hand. Oh, I think I dropped it. Mm. I think that's the problem is I dropped it. It was attached to... Mm. That, it, was, it was in the mud on there. That's no cold. That lump of mud. Not looking gold. Oh. <laughs> it's the other staple. Oh, I was so excited. Welcome to the sickness because it doesn't even matter. You're gonna go detect for another signal. <laughs> yeah, we'll put the muddy thing in my pocket. We'll use grass. Okay. Yeah. So apparently they're letting me try every detector today. I'm now on the Mine Lab 7000 with a big coil. They say there's more chance to be finding something with the 7000. Well, we're moving in the right direction. At least it's not steel anymore. Got some brass right there. Mm. Okay, there's something right here. Start by looking for a surface, you know, chunks of iron. Pull the surface away. I know they make tools for this. Okay, I've moved the surface away just to make sure it wasn't debris on the surface and I'm still getting big signal. 
underneath the surface. So there's something down there. Woohoo! Third piece of steel for the day. <laughs> Gold will happen. Big old chunk of rust. So Chase just pulled this beast out of the ground. That's gotta be nine grams, 10 grams. A quarter ounce, easy. Yeah, obviously not cleaned up yet, but sometime today we will clean that up and get a good shot of it. There we are, Chase's biggest nugget of the day. Oh, all of our biggest nuggets. You've, you found two and none of us have found two. any. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that, that must be, you know, nine or 10 grams of gold right there. So we went for a little hike over uh, to where Chase found that big nugget. We're gonna start detecting over here because, well, he's found two so far in this area. There's the hole. That's where the big one came from. Oh, that's too bad. It, it moved. Anything heavy in there? Nothing jumping out at me. Not. I think that's your uh, speaker oh. getting too close to speaker it. Too... Must still be over here. Oh, there it is, right there. <clears throat> and Dave found one too, about the same size as Chase's. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, no, oh, there, yeah. there is no comparison. Sorry, Dave. Mine's prettier. Yeah, um, nah, his, I don't know. Nah, his, let's his, look his, at the quartz inside. Oh, no, his is prettier. I like that one. I like them both, though. The thing is, any gold is gold. So Chase has got it so far. Yeah. Dan's going to have it next. You don't know about our little... We have a bet going. We have prop bets going every time we come out. Whoever gets the first gold nugget gets a dollar from everybody. Whoever gets the biggest gets the most, and whoever has the mo or gets a dollar from everybody, and then whoever gets the most. So so far he's so got far he's getting all the money. We're getting a very faint signal, but we've gone through the overburden. It's still there, so that is a good sign. We're down into the dirt. Into the red. That's not a good sign. That is. <laughs> That just disappeared on me. Oh, no, he's there it is there. So it's not down deep and it's not huge. So Dave called me over to check out this target here. We're gonna dig down and see if, his was right there, so really close. Four feet away, three feet away, there's another target. Let's hope it's a nugget. And it sounds, the sound of it is real good. He's watery down there. Yeah. All right, run it over that. Hopefully it's still in there. You got gold, buddy. It's down you, there. You got gold. Pass me the shovel, Ev. Nice. In case you want to. Yeah. I'll grab the 7,000 out of the way, otherwise, you'll hit it. You're getting your camera. Well, you're maybe not. There's nothing your... in the hole, though. Yeah. I like the sound of that one a lot. Next handful, that's it. Nope. Next handful. No, no, next handful. Okay, run the detector again over the ground. There you go. Yep, yeah, you're right there. Come on, baby. That feels heavy. It's on. So whatever's in my hand, I can feel, feels heavy. It does not look like gold, but it's making the machine scream. Put it in your mouth, like a real prospect. Um, oh, look, look, there's water in the hole. Let's see if it is. What a rookie. It is! <laughs> Beauty! There we go. Now that's a cute little nugget. It is coarse. It is freshly weathered out of the rock. Look at this, four feet apart. Never yeah. been okay. tumbled. Good job, nice. buddies. Thank you. Thank you. Now that one was kind of cheating because Dave called me over to a signal he knew. Time for me to find my own signal and a bigger nugget. Okay. Chase just pulled another. About the same size? Uh, this one's about a gram. Smallest of this patch so far. Evan's running the machine right now. Hey, I see what you mean by your arm gets tired. Like... Yeah. Okay, we now have another signal right here. 
It's a very, very faint signal. Hopefully that just means it's deep. Dude! <laughs> what so, do you think, man? It's awesome. It's gold. Okay, here we are. I was just rummaging around on all the little clay balls in there, rubbed that one, and it is showing definite gold. Gold nugget, baby. If you don't put it in your mouth, I'll put it in my mouth. <laughs> and there it is, the gold nugget still in its clay. Let's get it out of there and clean it up a bit. There we go, probably a half gram nugget. Not bad, these will look a lot better once you get them all cleaned up. Chase has six nuggets now. Chase has six already? Yeah. Nice. What do you think, Ev? This is amazing. <laughs> Two nuggets so far. Two nuggets and more to go. <laughs> 10 more to go. 10 more. And a Weedle 22. Less than a foot from where that little gold nugget was, we have another signal. Evan's just sort of clearing the overburden away so I can get the big uh, coil down. Yeah, it, it sounds good. It sounds like another tiny one though. Or deep. Or deep. It's a 10 ouncer, 10 feet down. Okay, Ev, let, let's see what this sounds like now. That's bigger. For sure that's bigger. 100% for sure that's bigger. Okay, we got something. I got it. Yep. Nice. Ooh, watch where that piece went. Just in case. Yes. Oh, surprising. That's like 90% of my material right there. It's still in here. That's the beast. Okay, so in that is probably a chunk of gold or not. Get that off my hand. Not huge. See my thumb? Sounds oh, it's a flake of rust. Is it? It is. After all that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, flake of rust. But it's a foot away. We just found a huge block of iron that we put down right in front of Dave's detector. Down a gopher hole. And now he's, <laughs> I think he's on it. Oh, damn, he's got discrimination. It's telling me it's a nail, but I'm gonna dig it anyway for to show what this thing does. Okay. <laughs> yep, he found our big chunk of metal. <laughs> Someday I might tell him. No, it's a piece of steel, which I thought it was. It told me it was gonna be steel. If you were metal detecting with that, you would have dug it for sure, but. For some reason, it looks identical to one we dug up hill and threw down at you. It's starting to rain, but I've got a nice signal. So Dave just brought his machine in because it has discrimination on it. Will tell us if it's iron or not. It's doing something. Let's see here. Jumping back and forth. Back and forth. It's telling me it's ferrous mostly, but it does jump over to 21. So it's it's something that I would dig, even though it's saying mostly ferrous. I okay. would dig this one because it jumps from four to 23. It was just a big chunk of cast iron, so yeah, moving on. So Chase is in the brambles right now, and he is sure he's on a piece of gold. Oh, he's got it in, in his scoop. Let's see if we can get down in there and see what he gets. Big, gold. Big nugget. It's gold. Nice. He is definitely winning the uh, bets today. And he's on a second one, too. There's another one right here. He's oh digging a second one right beside the first. But he's got it out of the hole, so there's gonna be another one right there. Sounds good. Great, I dropped it. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, it's metal. Oh, just see, iron. See the another nice signal. Right below. Chase is fine. And he's here with his pick to clear it for me. Thank you. Make it easy for you. Hopefully. <laughs> Tough to say, isn't it? Here, just lift up for a second, let's see. I think it was in that. Yeah. Okay, we've lost it. That sounds right. You got it. Somewhere. In that one clump, there is a... 
A nugget? Ha <laughs> ha, nugget! Definitely a little, you know, what is that, three quarters of a gram? Probably three quarters of a gram. They all add up. They all add up. They're all nice and shiny. That's what we're looking for. Nice, my first nugget on your machine. There you go. Nice. We will show you all of these cleaned up at the end. So Dave just found this piece here, big chunk of quartz loaded with gold on top of it. And while we're looking at Dave's, of course, Chase pulls out another one. While you're filming the other, while you're filming what I found. Just found another nugget. I said I wanted one more before I called it quits today because Chase has to go pretty soon. So then here it is, one more really nice nugget. Let's get this close up on it. There we go, another nice nugget. Of course, these will all get cleaned up for great pictures at the end. Okay, 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 one more. So the winner here today is definitely gonna be Chase. No matter how much more gold I find, he has got so much already, he's definitely winning. Chase has started himself a YouTube channel. What's Big, it called? Bigfoot Mining Co. Bigfoot Mining Co. I will leave a link below, check him out. Dave's testing out his new fancy uh, legend from Nokia, from Nokta. Nokta. Let's get this right, not Nokia. Nokta legend. It does say that it should be gold. It says there's gold in that hole. Let's okay, see I'm if mine on. says the same thing. No, nope, they're still in there. More over this way. Yeah. And it's down there a bit yet. It's probably four or five inches down, I think. There we go. Now we're on it. You start seeing little pockets of that red. Good, good. That's your biggest one yet. That's a good signal. That's your biggest one yet. Sure. Well, we'll keep the camera on for the whole one. This is, I said there'd be one more before we went, and this will have to be, if this is it, this will be it. Yeah, yeah. Your son's ready to get out of Dodge. He had to go back to the truck. He's getting too much sun out here. So. Yep, she's out of there. Hopefully that whole thing is it. <laughs> I think it's on this. Big old specie. That'd be nice. I I've, uh, haven't got any specimens yet today. No. Nope. Nope. Was boot tack. Hang it. Was it? Oh, boot tack. Son of a. Okay, we have to keep going. So I've tapped out with the metal detector. My arm is killing me. <laughs> That's hard to do for a long, long stint. But I found four or five nuggets today and I am super happy about that. And so... How many nuggets do you find? Only three, but two of them are specimens. One of them was real small. I found two of them with this legend, which is great. This is awesome. A, I just got this detector. I didn't even read the manual. I just turned it on today and started playing and found two impressive pieces. Well, I said I needed one more before I'd go. Chase just found one more and he gave it to me because it's my birthday. So I think that's it for the day. Let's go down to the truck, clean these up and see what we got. Well, there are the five nuggets I got today. Let's take the toothbrush to them, clean them up and see what I got. Well, this will definitely be my favorite of the day. Gold with quartz, a beautiful specimen. I love it when you still see the quartz on it. Not the biggest, there's one bigger, but that is my favorite. Here is the biggest of the day. This one I think I'm gonna have to dip in an acid and clean off some of the iron on it. Let it sort of show its structure a bit more. And these things here are all about a gram a piece. Three one grammers and two that I'm guessing are two to three grams each. Those are great. Someone here has a scale, I think. Okay, let's see the big one. Ooh, it's not coming up. It's not showing up on this camera. It is three and a half grams. Three and a half grams for the big guy. The specimen piece is coming out at two and a half grams. Together, 6.2. There call. we go. All five pieces on the scale comes out to 8.7 grams, 8.5 grams, 8.9, oh, it's all over the place. It's kind of breezy out here. About eight and a half grams for the five nuggets of the day. And our host today, Chase here, he's got the most for sure. Let's get mine off the scale and see what his come out to. Okay, the big guy to start with. Eight, eight grams. Eight grams and the total. 
That's over half an ounce, man. 18.8. 18.8. Over half an ounce detecting for the day. Well Big done. Off. Bigfoot out here. Here's Chase's nuggets. Nice and close. He killed it today. Of course, he had the best detector, the best technique, had the best luck of the day for sure. And he's the best looking, says Dave. Beautiful gold. Now Dave found some nice pieces today too, but we can't really weigh them for gold because they have so much cork on them, but they are the most beautiful specimens. <laughs> 13 and a half gram specimen. It hasn't been cleaned up yet, but it's just a quartz seam loaded with gold all on top and throughout it. And then a couple of small specimens as well. And Dave's bag of gold. I don't know where I put it. Might be in my pocket. Oh yeah, just 114 grams of gold just sitting in Dave's pocket. And Dave's big one five, for the day? Six. Five, five six. six. And bad. that is a full blown nugget. Hasn't been cleaned up yet, but definitely 5.6 grams and total 20. So if you go on by court. total weight, Dave's the winner. Well, I had the most amazing day in the California mother load detecting nuggets and we found some beautiful nuggets today. I have to send a big thanks out to Al and his family for uh, having us on this uh, property detecting. Thank you, Dave, for arranging this all. And thanks for helping me so much today finding those nuggets. If you haven't already checked out Gold Bay's YouTube channel, make sure you do. And Chase, what was the name of yours one more time? Bigfoot Mining Co. Videos coming soon, everything. Bigfoot Mining Co. That's the one. Yep. So. Gold Bay, check them Martin. out. Dining. Hope you're all having a great day. I had a fabulous day. So until oh, the next one. Happy, oh, happy birthday, yeah. Dan. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. No, that's me. Happy <laughs> it's birthday, my birthday. Dan, yeah. It's my birthday. <laughs> until the next one, everyone. Bye. <laughs>